so in this video let's try to complete the add employee uh, uh, method okay so let's try to complete that so let's open the add employee HTML as well as add department HTML so let's copy the whole thing from the department and paste it in the add employee component of HTML the changes that we want to make is add new employee and then let's keep it as m3 so this should be employee name okay let's remove these messages and uh, we have employee name employee name and service dot form data employee name okay and also we have department mail id as well as data for joining so department department mail id and finally date of joining So the department should be ideally be draw drop down so that we'll implement later and date of joining should be a text I mean uh, date picker right so those things will implement later but for now let's try to simply create a, a form for employee so it's add employee instead of add department okay this one's done so now let's go back to and open the add employee component dot ts and add department component dot ts so let's see what are the things that we wanna have to import so let's copy the entire thing from add department and paste it in the add employee component so things that we want to change is this should be employee service instead of department service and then let's copy the constructors and paste it here uh, the thing that changes here is add employee component and employee service okay now let's copy the reset form ng init and the reset form both so we'll replace the ng init with ng init and reset form so what should the reset form do it has to reset the employee id to zero employee name to null department to yeah null or you know uh, empty string mm, mail id and finally date of joining which is a date so we'll set it to null and then what else do we need here we'll copy the on close event as well sorry so we'll copy this one and also on submit let's say instead of this it should be add employee
I guess the name is not proper so let's go back to the employee service and change the name where is the services employee service add employee delete employee and update employee so this should be add employee I think we are done with this so finally we have to go to the show department.ts and show employee dot ts so let's compare those three those two things here so we need to have the um, so let's copy this one also the apply filter where we want to import the have the filter method so we need on add right so on add so on add we have to show add employee component so let's see if this thing works it did not so I'm sure it is the entry component thing so let's copy the add employee component and go back to the app module.ts and paste it in the entry components okay now let's see if that thing works so employees add employee so we have what is needed okay close also works so in the next video we're gonna have a drop down right instead of text box we are gonna have drop down for the department